Hello, everybody. I'm a rainbow. And one of the things that was released on the exclusive item tech web was the pipe organ, that little guy right there. And initially I thought, uh, it's just a glorified note block, you know, not a big deal, but I have found out it's much cooler than I thought. And I'm going to show you that right now. All right. As you can see behind me, all the different pipe organ pieces can be a different color and each color is a different note. Now, honestly, I can't play a lick. I'm no good with the, any of that musical stuff, okay? You can activate them just by, by touching them or hitting them with a bat. And I thought, okay, that's some limited use. But then I found out you could actually set them off using the Yeep wire or the Red wire update stuff. The significant thing that I learned about the pipe organs, was that if you took a red wire or a yeep stone and ran it into the bottom of it, even though they don't have any input ports that you can see, you can activate them with an input signal. You're going, well, that's not very exciting, but it is because you can activate a group of them with the same signals. That means that you can tie all these notes together and play complex uh, songs with them. I am not a musician, but I know this is possible now. I will demonstrate right now. So when you're playing a piano or guitar or anything, you're usually not just hitting one note. You're doing combinations of notes. Now, I, like I said, can't play a lick, but I have combined right here using my timer just three sets of notes each. Honestly, it doesn't sound like anything great, but if you know how to play, you can combine these notes and make your own music and automate it. So it plays and it should work great. I'm gonna give you a demonstration. It's not great music, but it will show you that it works. All right, this is actually the same timing circuit I had in my uh, video about the circuitry. Um, but I've sped it up just a little bit. So when I activate it, it will randomly have those pipes play and they will be playing in groups of three and we'll go check that out. So start it up, they start playing. Now I have them playing randomly, but you can have them play in the correct order to play a tune. All right, there you go, yeeps. There they are, playing in groups of three. You could have them in groups of two, groups of four, whatever you need to do to make the notes for your tune, and then you can have them play in order rather than just playing randomly like I'm doing right now. All right, Yeeps, for my final demonstration here, I'm gonna actually try to play some um, actual uh, chords with the pipe organ. I've got it set up to run automatically. And then I'll show you how you can actually make changes using the red wires to get what you're looking for. Because that's what I've done here is I've got these on and the only thing that really is delaying them right now is the wires. You can use the extenders or delays if you want to, but the wires give you a little bit more control, I think. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So let's start this bad boy up. I was trying to go for a little bit Halloween scary thing, but uh, I get what I get. All right, so now let's go jump behind the scenes here and I'm gonna show you how shortening one length of pipe changes how this sounds. All right, so I'm just gonna add one section right here and remove that section right there. And you notice, the tune has changed a little bit because the timing is off. All right. And that's all it takes right there. So I hope that I've given you enough information to go out there and start making some music of your own. I really do. All right, you guys, have fun with this. Make some good stuff. Happy Halloween.